what's going on everybody welcome back to the 1980s we have got work to do if you did not catch our live stream last time i mean it's the 1980s what's a live stream i don't know what that is <laughs> no. but if you did not catch the mass audience we ha screw it live stream if you didn't catch the live stream then you'll uh you won't know that we sprayed and we also planted alfalfa now we do have one more field to plant alfalfa in and uh grant still hasn't got his grain card out of it so we're gonna move that we're gonna plant alfalfa we're gonna also spray today we got a lot of work to do so we're gonna get at it let's hop up into the 4840 fire it up there we go and uh i'm gonna find a place to put this sprayer away because uh, we don't need it at the moment. We will be needing it later today. But for now, I want to take the 4840 over to pick up Grant's grain cart. So, let's back this thing up. I was waiting on the engine to finish its startup, by the way. That's what we were waiting on. We're going to back this up into here. By the way, I do have to go and buy a new round baler. That other round baler we had um, had a recall. There was a recall on it, so we had to, had to sell it off. And uh, we are now going to be getting a new one. So that's the deal with that. All right. Uh, should I? Hmm. Now, now, this is a complication. Okay. Maybe I'll let eat. Mm, well, shoot. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. We're going to fire up the old International 886 here. There we go. Let's pull the 886 over here we're going to take it off of the planter even though it's a great little tractor to run on the planter nice about 95 horsepower here pretty short frame it works great around for the uh, type of fields we have here but we're going to connect it up to the sprayer there we go we're going to shut that back off so now we can spray with the international we're going to connect the 4840 up to the planter here that way we can head down we'll disconnect the planter we'll move grant's uh, Grant's green cart out of the out of the hoochamacallit out of the field and then we'll connect back up to the planter and get to planting this alfalfa today so let's run over there and get to work all right we're pulling up to the entrance of the field here we can see that the wheat we planted is coming along quite nicely we do really need to spray that though so we need to get in there and spray that today we did spray the soybeans already so that is all good to go I'm going to pull this right off over here. Yes, we have a bale spike still sitting here. Don't mind that. We'll get to that at some point here. Okay. I disconnect that. Now we are going to roll over this way. Yeah, we're driving over all the alfalfa we have just planted. Probably not the best idea, but I really need to plant the alfalfa right over here. So we're going to have to, uh, we're going to, have to move this grain cart out of the way. It's been in my field for far too long. Grant hasn't taken it home yet, so we're going to just get it out of my way. I'm probably going to just pull it right off up over here and, uh, and kind of put it right back there. Okay, back up, back up. Oh, put it in gear. Uh, there we go. Had the wrong gear. Had her neutral. And just put it right up onto these massive mounds. There we go. I'll take it. Right there. We'll drop it. Let's get our planter back. And back up to the planter. All right, there we go. We're all connected. Hydraulics are in. Everything is looking good. We are ready to plant. Man, that thing needs washed off, doesn't it? It's filthy. Absolutely filthy. But we're almost done planting everything. Now, it is summer, and we are still planting this alfalfa. We are quite late to the party on this. I'm doubting that we will get a uh, cut off this alfalfa. But... At least we'll have it planted for next year, if that's the case. So, we'll pull right up here. That should be... Yeah, we can get over a little bit more. That should be good right there. Let's lower those things down into the ground, and we will start planting. There we go. We're planting alfalfa. So, I know we've been doing this for a while now, but this is the last field that we have to plant of alfalfa. And then we, uh, we need to get our wheat field sprayed. Our wheat field is coming along quite nicely towards the uh, end of summer here. I would uh, imagine that or we'll be able to harvest that. So end of summer, very, very beginning of winter, we're going to be able to harvest that. At least that's how it looks so far, if the weather cooperates with us. 
we're just gonna cruise along the outside here and get all of our uh our headlands done and we are gonna plant it similar to how we planted previously whoo just sneaking past trees are we i know someone was saying that i should cut down these trees in these fields that are making life difficult oh we're gonna yeah we nicked that one but it's just the tire it'll be all right um but i really don't want to cut down these trees just because there are they already are here and i as a farmer you have to respect nature and the natural habitat of your ecosystem and and um and you want to disrupt it as little as possible while still maximizing you know your profit and your soil conservation and and everything you know you don't want to be greedy with it because that's just going to hurt you in the long run so that's why I'm not cutting down any of these trees because sure they might make my life a little bit more difficult for a couple days, a few days every year, but it's going to be a lot more uh, a lot more annoying for the birds and and uh, even just the soil and and literally so many different things that rely on these trees that have been here for significantly longer than I've been farming this land. So that's my mentality behind it call me a hippie or whatever you want but it's every farmer's duty to care for the land and to do what's in its best interest in the long term and that is why we're not going to be cutting out any of these trees now if there was a one maybe two trees maybe like if they were an absolute nuisance but i really wouldn't cut them until they were like dead already that's just me personally. Oh, we are not planting. Whoopsie daisies. Good thing I caught that. Otherwise, that we would have had a whole section right there not planted. Okay, now we are good to go. Perfect. As always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, click that like button. It really helps out the video a lot. YouTube's got a weird deal going on where they're not recommending the content. So if you could help me out and just hit that like button, it helps out so much the video gets pushed out to more people youtube sees that you're enjoying it comment down below what you enjoy what you think what you want to see you know give me some ideas for this role play we uh we do look through the comments i read every single comment ever posted i know sometimes you might not think that but i actually do i read every single comment i have it so it's, it notifies me on my my phone and i open it up and i read it and i usually try to heart or reply Sometimes, you know, I'm busy with life and I cannot reply, but I do read them. So let me know if you have any ideas of what you would like to see in the roleplay in the comments as well. While we're at it, if you find yourself watching more than one video, it's a good sign that you enjoy the content. So click that subscribe button and get notified when new videos are posted. All right, we got a bit of a headland, even though that's not really how I should be should have planted this. That's how we're going to go with it. We're going to just go across now, try and make our life just a little bit easier at least that's the hope. So we're going to go across ways like this. We're going to just go back and forth, back and forth. And eventually, we will have this field fully planted with alfalfa. We'll catch you guys when we're done with the field. All right, we got the full field planted. It is finally done. We are going to take this back up to our farm, and we're going to swap out for the sprayer. We're rolling back up to the farm here. We're going to just fly on in, drop off this tractor, swap it for the old International. And uh, we are going to get to work spraying out here today. However, I heard through a little birdie that uh, one of our neighbors was harvesting some uh, some oats today. So I figure as the co-op, I should go over there and see if I can get him to sell uh, get him to sell to our co-op instead. So we'll see what happens here. We're going to go over there and we're going to try and. Uh, we're going to try and talk him into selling at our co-op instead of somewhere else. All right, we're rolling up. Looks like he's already in the field. He's going at it right now as we speak. Look at that. Oh, man, he's made it a ways, hasn't he? Got a lot of equipment out here. It looks like he's turning around anyways. We'll be able to catch him. Oh, no, he's not turning around. Hey! Hey! Stop. Stop combining. Stop combining. I'm trying to talk to you. Austin. 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 Hey, Austin. <laughs> Austin, stop. Hey, Austin. Austin. <laughs> Seriously. Stop making me chase you. Hey, Jake, what's up? Hey, boss. I, uh, I was just out and about. Or I, uh, I stopped and, uh, met old Hank over in, uh, in town. Got, getting a coffee and he told me you were harvesting today. So, thought I'd come out yeah, and see what was yeah, going on. Yeah, it's, uh, 
I don't know how he knew I was harvesting. He must have been by here. Yeah, he said he drove by. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. I got this crop in pretty early, so it's good to go already. Yeah, it looks. What, you got oats? Uh, yes. Yep, I did. How's the yield looking? It's really good. Like, it is? really good. Yeah. It's good. I just wanted to check up on your, uh, you know, your, your yield and everything. Cause it's kind of my job at the co-op, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, for sure. How, what's what's price like there for oats? Cause last year was pretty. It was a, quite a drought, wasn't it? Uh, price is decent. It's it's pretty good. Uh, it's it's definitely up from last year. I I have a feeling, you know, here in the next month, it's it's gonna drop off quite a bit. But yeah, once people start bringing some more oats in and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Once more. I, I oats think get I'm one of the end. first people. I'm mean, one of the first people that got theirs in pretty early, so. I'd say so. I got to get back to harvesting here. Yeah, but, I got uh, a lot hey, of work to are... do too, but um, you ever going to stop down at the co-op? Let me know. We got people there working right now, but. Uh, Alrighty. I'll see you later, bud. See ya. All right. We talked with Austin. We're going to get out of here. I'm going to try not to drive into his ditch. Woof. Big old diesel engine firing up. Listen to that thing. We're going to run back to our place and get to spraying. All right. Let's put the truck away. Watch out, Bob. <laughs> Bob. Our dog's name is now Bob, apparently. I, I, I tried to call him Bud and Dog, and it came out as Bob. <laughs> oh, who's a good Bob? <laughs> who's a good Bob? You're a good Bob. Yes, you are. <laughs> Stop running away from me, Bob. Stupid Bob. <laughs> I can't believe I called the dog Bob. Okay. <laughs> Well, let's, uh, let's get to spraying. Uh, maybe Bob wants to come along. You want to come along, Bob? Huh? Nah, he doesn't want to. <laughs> all right, let's start up the 886, and let's get out in the field. Got everything good to go. Sprayers all connected. We do have liquid in the tank. Let me just, you know, double check, because now, now I feel kind of sketched out about it. Let me just look in here. Yep, yep, we're still good. Just had to double check. You I mean that thing's so dirty it's hard to tell, but we got we got liquid in there. So let's clutch in. Let's put her in gear there. Come on, put her in gear. And let's throttle up. Perfect. Nice and easy. I can't decide where I want that throttle. There we go. Got her all revved up, got her in gear, and we're rolling. Let's take the sprayer on over to our wheat field, and hopefully we'll be able to spray our wheat with no problem today. I guess we'll find out. Oh, let's also turn on those flashers since we're cruising down country roads out here. Ooh, man. We took that turn a little too fast. You see the tractor kind of push? It was a little sketchy. Probably should be slowing down for these. Nah, she handles it just fine. Well, other than the hill. Other than the hill, she handles it just fine. Come on, 886. Use all 95 horsepower. You can do it. I believe in you. It's hot in here, too. Let me open up these windows. There we go. Got that one. Got that one. Push it back. Perfect. A little dangerous to do while you're driving. I should modify this to put a chain on that door so I can clip it to the, uh, the side out front so I can leave the doors open. Get more airflow. But, you know, maybe that's a project for a winter for a winter day. All right, rolling up. Let's get slowing down here. Ooh, throttle down, throttle down, throttle down, throttle down, throttle down. There we go. Easy. Just pull on in here nice and calm like. Right over here is the field we're going towards. We did just plant that. I feel like I should take that cart to Grant's. Ooh, don't drive in my... Oh, God, we hit the bale spear. Ah, uh, well, that's... That's all right. It'll be fine. <laughs> I've hit that bill spear twice now. So there's that. Now we just got to pull right up here. I'm going to start unfolding this. Get them arms opening up. I don't know how wide we need to be here. I'm going to stop right here. Oh, 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 clutch in. Clutch in the brakes. Clutch in the brakes. Oh, come on. I can't. It won't stop. I can't get it out of gear. There is... I can't. It's stuck in... Okay, just clutch in then. Clutch in. Oh, finally. Oh. That was stuck in gear. Do y'all see that thing? I finally got it to neutral. It was stuck in gear. 
across the whole field. Now I don't even know if I want to put it back in gear. Well, let's, let's try it. Clutch in. Put it in gear. All right. Fine. I guess I'm going to have to turn myself around here. So that's cool. I mean, I guess I could just start right now. Couldn't I? In theory. Yeah, I mean, in theory, I could just start right now. Screw it. I'm already driving through the field. Why not start? There we go. We're spraying. Got to remember where I started right about back there. We can almost get this full. Oh, I probably pretty much could have if I wasn't over spraying there on the right side a little bit. It'll be all right. We're getting all of our wheat fertilized here. I'm just going to kind of go along and uh, it shouldn't take, shouldn't take us too long here. I really don't think it will. I also should just go ahead and... Well, no, I don't want to do that. We'll, we'll fertilize that stuff after it finally germinates. I don't want to burn it. I don't want to burn the seed. So we're going to wait on fertilizing the uh, the alfalfa that we planted. Let's make that turn. Ooh, dang it. Ow. Oh, it did it again. I tried stopping, and we're stuck in gear. Please stop tractor i just bought you all right we're spraying the last little bit here and then we will be done this wheat field will be completely sprayed and ready to go it's just got to grow and then we can harvest it on out of the field so oh you can tell right there i killed a little bit of the wheat let's just go ahead and fertilize that too why not all right shut it all down fold it all up and we are ready to get on out of here hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you give it a big old thumbs up if you find yourself watching more than one video then click that subscribe button because it's a good sign that you enjoy the content and you want to be notified when new ones are posted thank you guys so much for watching really hope you enjoyed it and until next time i'll see you all later